Now, first of all, I'm going to introduce you with the PeopleSoft. Uh, PeopleSoft is an ERP, which is mainly used for uh, integrating of integration of different domains in an organization, like domains like FSCM, finance related, or HRMS, or campus solution. For integrating two of the domains, we we mainly use PeopleSoft. Uh, why we use PeopleSoft? The reason is that by using this or by integrating these modules, we can easily make the decisions or we can uh, like uh, reporting can be very easy through this or whenever a user log in into the PeopleSoft or do any of the transactions in PeopleSoft, so we can easily track that the uh, who was the user or which ID has logged into the PeopleSoft and uh, what were the transaction he did in PeopleSoft. So these are the benefits of PeopleSoft uh, for which we use PeopleSoft. Now, <coughs> Campus Solution includes total nine modules in it. These are the modules, Campus Community, Recruiting and Admissions, student records, curriculum management, gradebook, financial aid, student financials, academic advisement, and contributor relations. Uh, contributor relations, academic advisement, and financial aid. These are the modules which I have not covered yet. And rest of the modules, I know about all other modules. Now I'm going to uh, give a brief about these modules. First of all, campus community. Campus community includes all the data of those people or those persons who are just connected with our organization or university or college. Basic purpose of campus community is to store the personal information of any of the person who are who just get interacted with our organization or there is some role of them in our organization. It's basically organization data management. The second main part of campus community module is service indicators. Service indicators are the uh, indicators which we set up and which we apply on a person or organization just uh, we apply on them just to prevent some of the services um, that they should not use that service. For that purpose, we apply the service indicators on them. For example, uh, there is a student who is absent so, for so many days and his attendance is below 40%. And the university don't want that uh, student should student can see his grades at his login. So we can just simply apply a service indicator on that student and he will not be able to see the he will not be able to see his grades at his login. So these are the benefits of service indicators. There are two kinds of service indicators. One is positive and one is negative. And both are having their own benefits and disadvantages. So Uh, this is a snapshot. This is the symbol of service indicator. Through this symbol, we can just recognize that this student, Ojas Tripathi, has got a negative service indicator. And by clicking on this link, we can see which service indicator has been applied on this student. Okay, next module is recruiting and admissions. Recruiting and admissions is basically for the recruiters and the persons who come to the university or college for taking admission or those who are interested in taking admissions in universities or colleges. It mainly holds the data of those persons. Like if a person comes to a university for admission, he will be the prospect. We, we can keep the information of those prospects also and if he get admitted into the college, we can even keep the information of those prospects from prospect level to an applicant level and from an applicant level to then 
student level. So basically recruiting and admissions is for only um, a person coming to a college who is interested in taking admission and then he become a student of that college. It captures the information of prospective student, maintain multiple applications for an individual student, maintain multiple application. What does it mean? It means that if a, if a person wants to take admission in, for undergraduate career, so PeopleSoft allows his application for an undergraduate uh, student. Then again he want to take admission in postgraduate. Then there will be again there will uh, one more application for postgraduate also. So this way his multiple application can be maintained in PeopleSoft. It tailors admission requirement and processing for each academic program. Update applicant status automatically based on the program's individually defined criteria. And automate evaluations and updates of admission decisions. So this is the recruiting and admission module. Now next. This is a snapshot of uh, one of the page of prospect. You can see that uh, these are the tabs, eligibility check. Like first of all, a uh, person coming, person interested in taking admission. Through this tab we can check his eligibility, whether he is eligible or not for taking admission. Then his biographical details like uh, first name, last name, suffix, uh, prefix, middle name and uh, his address, his phone number, his email ID, all these we can track. Then his regional tab from where he is Indian or foreigner, whatever. Then prospect career data, we can manage, we can manage from here this tab. In which program he wants to take admission then prospect school or recruiting. Uh, this tab holds the data of his earlier school from where he has passed his 12th or 10th. Then tab test details. The uh, test which he has given before taking admission in this college. That details can be stored in this tab. Then prospect query. If there is any query from prospect, we can manage it from this tab. The next is the students records and enrollment. This module is a major module because when a prospect becomes a student, so this module keeps the data of, uh, whole data of that student in this module can be managed. Like enroll students, students will take uh, um, in which classes he will get enrolled. We can enroll a student in different classes through this module only. Now his term activation. Term activation refers to the activation of uh, like semesters. Six months of semesters. After, uh, when he comes we can activate his term for first semester. Then again after six months we can again activate his term for next semester. This can be done through this module. Then his career and program information are stored in this module. His transcripts, transcripts is like mark sheet. In PeopleSoft we call it as a transcript. His mark sheet is uh, managed through this module. Then his students background information. His advising notes. Teacher or faculty can give any advising notes to that student. And his extracurricular activities data can be stored in this module. This is the student's login. He can see at his own end that in which classes he is enrolled. Like he is enrolled in chemistry, structure and reactivity and he has got A grade in it and uh, these were the units he, and his status is enrolled. Then uh, this is again one of the class number 1086 which is of lecture type. Day and timings are mentioned here. Room number and who all are the instructors who teach him and start date and end date of the class. This is the snapshot of a student's login from which he can see these things. Next is the curriculum management. 
curriculum management is basically scheduling of courses, classes, and uh, maintaining those classes. Like uh, I've shown you here, these are the instructors. This is the room. This is the class number. This is the component days and timings. All these are managed through curriculum man mo management module only. Through this module, we can set up a class. We can sh schedule a class like which days that class will be taken, who will teach that class, and uh, what will be the timings, which component, like it will be of lecture component, or tute component, or discussion component. These are the things which we manage through this module. The main part of this module is of attendance roster. Through this module, we can take attendance of the class. Uh, that who is present, who is absent, who is late. We can also define the course assignments, like uh, if you want to take any assignment in a class, like any quiz or surprise test, we can define through this module. In this module, we can store the information of the instructors as well as advisors. So these are the benefits of this module. I'll show you one snapshot of uh, attendance roster. This is the page of class attendance and these are the students which are enrolled in this class. One is of Rajshri and Tushar. And here we can, by clicking this option, we can say it's present or absent. These are the timings of the class from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. And uh, by marking it as present, we can save and return from this page. So this is the class attendance page. Now next is the student financial module. Student financial module basically deals with the um, accounting, charging and the payment of the students. That how much we are going to charge on a student, how much a student is going to pay to the organization and uh, what concession we need to give to a particular student based on some criteria, these all the things are managed by student financial module. Student finance is the module of the campus domain and peoples of ERP which deals with the fee structure of the student in any institution. And uh, the basic terms of student financials are item types. Item type basically deals with whether it is a charge or it is a payment or it is a deposit or it is a concession, we can define through this item type. Criteria is basically the um, criteria is uh, steps that how we will filter a student so that we can apply a charge on that student. Like if a student is of BTEC, so he falls in a criteria of pro uh, criteria of program BTEC. We can make different kinds of criteria, uh, a criteria for BTEC students, a criteria for uh, postgraduate students, a criteria for PhD students. This will be the criteria. Term fees is about how much fees we are going to charge on that student. And tuition group, in tuition group, we will map the criteria as well as term fees. And this tuition group get charged on a student. Like if a tuition group BTEC 2016 is getting charged on a student. That means based on the criteria UG, as I have already set up that criteria should be of UG and term fees will be 50,000. So this tuition group will map both criteria as well as term fees. He will find out that the student must be of UG and his term fees will be of 50,000 and then only it will charge. Under this BTEC 2016 comes the criteria as well as term fees. And this is the concept. Target is like which account it is going to hit for a particular term fees. Tender is a, whether it is a cash or it is a check 
or a different kind of payment. So this is the student financial and these are the major parts of a student financial. That's it. These were the all modules and uh, this is the I think last slide. It's about training. Okay. Over. You can ask any question. Yeah, hi. Yes. Yeah, in the training. The student recruiting and admission part. Okay, when a person comes to an uh, to a university for taking admission, so he is just a prospect for that institution. He is not a student. He will just a prospect. A university can store the information of that prospect. So from here he can they can store, maintain prospects, create or update prospects. Okay. Then here add a new value. Mm -hmm. Now ID will be by default new. It will get generated by the system when we will save the data. Okay. Now this academic institution, this value is coming from the setup part. Okay. These all the values. Okay. Okay. We will have to set up these these values in the setup part. Then only it will come here. Okay. Otherwise there will not be any value. Okay. Then academic career will have to set up. What are the careers going on in our university? According to that, we will set up the values. Okay. Then it will come here. We can select like UG mm -hmm. add. Actually, it's uh, slow just now. This system is very slow. Yeah. Okay. Actually, instance is working slow right now. Okay. 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 This is the now prefix. Uh, first name, last name, we can fill here. Mm -hmm. Then marital status, gender. These all the values are uh, by default given by the people soft only. We don't have to set up. Then uh, gen gender, then uh, phone number, mm -hmm. email. We can uh, store the data of a prospect, regional part, which country he belongs, and in which career he is interested. These values we set up, like admit term, in which term he wants to take admission. Mm -hmm. So these are the terms which we set up in the setup part then admit type which uh, type of admission is going to take its first year first year student or later student new student readmitted or transfer okay. these are the values we can store and save through this button okay. this system is very slow I think yeah, so this is the, first of all I'll uh, train how to set up the values of these things, then only I'll come to transaction parts.